Mahindra has demonstrated another uh, concept or a platform called uh, MESMA and that's an acronym for Mahindra Electrics uh, uh, Scalable and Modular Architecture. And the platform is meant to serve as a design platform for um, uh, high load and high capacity vehicles in future. And I think it's a definitely a step in the right direction because the way the electric vehicles are designed and the way they function, uh, what we are going to see is a lot of design complexity is going to be moved from hardware design to software design. So as the software design gets more and more complex and it is definitely capable of, uh, software uh, engineers are definitely capable of responding to software changes much faster than the hardware engineers can respond to hardware change requests. So we need a hardware platform which can, can quickly adapt to the business demands. So I think that's where this platform is going to come really handy. And the idea they have is uh, there's going to be a high voltage system. They're going to have two motors, uh, one in front, one in back. And the, the, what was demonstrated there were two 50 kilowatt mo uh, motors. So two motors, 50 kilowatt each motor. And uh, uh, you know that can be scaled up and down for range, that can be scaled up and down for a battery pack or loads or you know different type of vehicles. And uh, so you know it will it will help them to uh, compress the cycle of uh, vehicle life cycle, especially the vehicle design cycle part. And instead of you know maybe taking the about a, a few years to come out with a mature uh, vehicle design they will be able to come up with uh, the same vehicle design in maybe just a few months. This uh, platform has a liquid cooling system. Um, current uh, vehicles like E2O, they work on air cooling system and that works fine because it's primarily low voltage. Uh, but as you know, the voltage goes up 350 volts and up, definitely liquid cooling system is going to be more important for motor as well as, as the battery packs get bigger even for them. Uh, now the battery is DC, this is uh, AC motor that was the, what they demonstrated and they had inverters uh, to convert uh, AC power to DC to charge the battery and as well as an onboard inverter to convert the battery's DC power to the motor uh, which runs on AC. This idea of MESMA, this is actually pretty interesting and exciting, you know, as what they call uh, modular and scalable architecture. Now, a lot of people, when they think of electric vehicle, they just think of, you know, the same thing as internal combustion engine vehicle that has four wheels and some engine or motor driving system and goes from point A to point B. But that's really where the similarity between internal combustion engine and electric vehicle ends. Electric vehicles are typically a computer running on four wheels that has a lot of sensors embedded and a lot of you know, things talking to each other, communicating, and a lot of data that can be connected, a lot of optimization that can be done. And this is where you know, it presents a totally different level of challenge. Uh, just like the early computers, you know, the everyone produced everything, the whole vertical from hardware to software, everything produced by just one company. And, and that was okay because computers had limited capability and limited applications and they were serving limited needs. But as the market expanded, a lot of new people wanted to write software, a lot of new applications of computers came into picture. And that whole business model changed. And we are going to see that very similar thing is going to happen even in electric vehicle space. Because the software of electric vehicle can, can be quickly customized to many, many different uh, uh, demands and requirements. We are going to see that a lot of people will probably just excel in writing software and they are going to need some kind of hardware platform and they would rather not worry about the hardware. They will just buy something. This uh, platform, a few features, uh, you know, I think are going to be of critical importance. One thing is that the liquid cooling. And, uh, you know, there is, we are going to see a lot of caps. They will be continuously running on road for a long time in all kinds of weather conditions in different states of India, different humidity conditions where air cooling may or may not be very effective. So that time, liquid cooling is going to be of critical importance and for high voltage battery especially. And uh, another thing what we are seeing is Mahindra is clearly showing preference to high voltage systems. Uh, pretty much all over the world, the trend is going towards high voltage systems. Even not only the vehicle manufacturers, but even the charging equipment uh, manufacturers. Uh, 
lecture demo and all those connections, uh, we are going to see high voltage systems uh, spreading faster uh, all over the world. And I think Mahindra is taking step uh, in the right direction going towards the high voltage systems that are capable of delivering the high performance that will be required from you know, lighter SUVs or uh, commercial vehicles or vehicles that will carry more. Load. One big objective uh, Mahindra has behind developing this platform is uh, taking their existing internal combustion engineering engine vehicles and adapting the, those vehicles quickly to bring out their electric uh, uh, versions. And uh, right now this platform is under development. It's going to be about two years or so, though that's what we were told, till we see any vehicle made on this platform running on roads. Uh, eventually, Mahindra also intends to make this platform available um, maybe on a commercial basis to other vehicle developers who want to adapt uh, their existing vehicles to you know, electric vehicles, um, so that will be very exciting.